Testing further along, you might scare away the fish. Oops, sorry. <sighs> now what? Kia guys. Sorry about my beach ball. Sort of got away on me. <laughs> That's okay, Henny. Are the fish biting? Uh, not yet. Hey. Your beach ball floats on the water. Sure does. It's lighter than the water because it's full of air. Makes it bouncy too. Well, I was just playing a game to see what stuff floats and what stuff sinks. Want to play? Love to. What about these sticks? Hmm, I reckon they'll float. Me too. Let's see. We're right! So sticks float, but rocks sink. Hmm, I wonder why. The sticks light. Maybe that's why it floats. Whoa. What about this big rock? Sink or float? Um, float. What do you think? Sink! It's pretty heavy. Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. It sinks! Oh, oh. Wait a minute. It floats! Uh, Newts, I'm trying to catch a fish. Oops. Sorry again, Darwin. Let's go further up. Let's try some other things. Hey! Let go! Let go! Kia! Let go! Ah! Shiny! Shiny! Kia! Naughty bird! Ah! Drop that! Ah! Oh no! Granddad Coral's <gasps> lucky fishing hat! We have to get it back! It's probably got some ear trapped under it. But that won't last for long. <gasps> it's starting to sink! Wait! I think 
I can grab it. Uh, I missed it. It's okay. It's stuck on that branch. But it's too deep to get to. And it's still sinking. We have to get it before it sinks. Get Teddy, quick. Let's science. Objects sink because they're heavy. And some objects float because they're light. Especially if they're full of air. We need something we can float on to reach the hat. Hey, look what Key is standing on. The swing! And that tire's full of air. Cool. 